Welcome to part two of the Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R3 demo on eProcurement. Last time in part one, we covered creating an RFQ in AX 2012 R3. This part will cover configuring an RFQ, adding line items, as well as publishing the RFQ to the vendor portal. Let's get started. After pressing OK, our RFQ details pane pops up. Let's configure the RFQ. Expand the Request for Quotation Lines tab if you have not already done so and add a line. Select Category as the line type. Let's add another line. After selecting category as the line item, enter Office Machines again. Notice our line type for this line is an item. Now let's select the item. Expand the Vendor Fast tab if it is not already expanded and select Auto Add Vendors. The Auto Add Vendors are automatically added to the RFQ based on the procurement categories on the lines. Expand the Questionnaires Fast tab if you have not already done so and add a questionnaire. Select the Vendor Eval Questionnaire. On the action pane in the process group, click Publish to Vendor Portal. Now let's send the RFQ. In the Sending Request for Quotation form, click OK. Verify that the RFQ has been published to the vendor portal and bid sent to vendors. Now we will demonstrate bidding on an RFQ. We have logged in as Aaron, an external vendor, and have opened up the vendor portal. Click on Open Request for Quotations to see the RFQ that was sent to the portal. Make sure the RFQ Conference Room Upgrades that we created is highlighted and click on Bid from the Action pane. Select Projector and enter a unit price. Now. Let's enter a comment. We'll repeat this for the next three line items. Expand the questionnaire fast tab if you have not already done so and complete the questionnaire. A new window will pop up. Answer the questions and click forward. On the last question, press End. After ending the questionnaire, you'll return to the Reply to Request for Quotation page. Click Submit. Verify that it has been sent and click Close. Once you have successfully completed the bid, you will be returned to the Request for Quotation screen. Next, we'll demonstrate how to unseal bids on the RFQ.